All right, so we're technically not sick anymore, but you know what? It's fine. Let's go see what happened to Byakuya because uh, last time we checked, he was in the room and uh, saying he would protect everyone. So I think we're supposed to go outside, right? Chiaki and Monami were standing in front of the entrance. I guess they're watching out for Monokuma. Huh? Huh? Hajime, what about the party? Oh, uh, it's not done yet, right? I haven't even joined in yet. Chiaki, did you happen to see Byakuya pass by here? Nope. Byakuya? Nope, I didn't. But what happened to Byakuya? There was a sudden blackout inside the old building and Byakuya vanished during that time. So we thought he might have gone outside, but... Nope, nobody came out. If nobody came out, does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, we might have just missed each other. I think. Hmm. Okay. I guess. Hey. Ah, uh, Hajime, how'd it go? Well, when I talked to Chiaki, she said he didn't go outside. <laughs> that's... That's weird. No one was inside the storage room either. He wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. Hmm. No one was in the office. It is strange, no? Nobody was in the office? That's weird! What about Pekko? I thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. Hey! Well, actually, not even Pekko was there. Huh? Pekko's gone too? Hmm. Maybe those two took advantage of the blackout to have themselves a major makeout session in the bathroom. Well done! Oh, truly, truly outrageous. Hmm. Um. Did something happen to Connie? Smells. Well, do any of you smell something? Well, when partially digested food is absorbed by the small intestine decomposed by bacteria, releasing gas, which is mostly absorbed in the intestinal tract, but whatever cannot be absorbed is excreted from the anus. Yes! Those are the mechanics of farting, but farting isn't something to be embarrassed about. It's not like that. No, I'm not talking about that. Wait! It smells like blood. Blood? <laughs> As Akane's nose twitched like a beast, she suddenly pointed. <laughs> it's coming from over there. The table at the very back of the dining room. Uh. I can just walk out right now. Like, you know, we don't have to check the table. <laughs> uh, smell of blood. What in the world is at that table? <sighs> it's under there. Under the table? I dashed toward the table at the back, reached out a hand toward the tablecloth, and then I stopped. Is this nervousness? Fear? Why am I so nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's gonna happen. With a shout, I grabbed the tablecloth and flipped it back in one go. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> for the <laughs> for the rest of my life, I will never forget what I saw. What I saw, I saw the ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Tagami, already dead and beyond recognition. They went ham on him. Oh my lord. <laughs> Maybe it was an accident? Byaku... Yeah, wh why is Byaku here? Yeah? No... I just stood there, horrified as showers of screams rang out behind me. As I gazed quietly at the body of my former friend. Why? What is this? Hey, 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 hey! This, it's impossible! Are you kidding me? Don't mess with me! This must be some kind of mistake! Eh? This can't be real bad, right? It's gotta be some sort of jam or some sauce! Because if not, this is this! <laughs> what 
the hell? Good gracious, things quickly took a turn for the worse. Yahoo! Oh my, now this is interesting. Thrills, chills, kills! In this tropical paradise known as Jabba Archive, and the very first murder has officially taken place. Murder? Could it be? Well, hold on. Uh, then does this mean... <laughs> of course. That's right! Tiakia was killed by one of you. Of course! If you look at the body, you can tell instantly he was obviously murdered. <laughs> what? He has such a horrible expression on his face, don't you think? A face filled with regret that his life was ended by force, all thanks to someone else's selfish desires. To have a dying face such as this? If this is a murder, then what the heck could it be? Hmm. Yeah, that was most likely sacrificed by someone who really wanted to leave this island. Lies. It's all lies. You're lying that he was murdered. Murdered. The moment I screamed that word, a thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled within my body. Which means that... that I've accepted the fact that Yaki was murdered. What is this? C could it be? Is that really Byakuya? Why? Why did this happen? Why, why Byakuya? Phew! I see, I see. It appears Fuyuhiko is the only one who isn't here. What are you gonna do? So, in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do this the usual way? <laughs> You know, I'm starting to think that I could have done this in the last video. It was only five minutes or so, but you know what, whatever. Class trial? Hey! Um... I'm explaining this to you, right? If one of you gets murdered, the rest of you have to debate who you think is the placket. You're telling us to figure out who the killer is. Correct! That's right, you idiot! From this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the black and culprit. That's impossible! It can't be. Is this someone actually killed? There's no way. <laughs> if you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. That's... I won't believe it. One of us killed Byakuya? There's no way. Something as hopeless as that would never happen. No, no, no! If you're actually thinking that way, it means you guys are already being conned by the killer. <laughs> come on, come on, let's hurry up and begin! An impassioned life forcing battle between you guys and the Black and Man. It's already started! It started the moment one of you plotted to kill us all! Hey! What did you say? You can't! Everyone, please, you can't! You, you, you should not! Oh my god! You cannot! You should not believe what Monica says! <laughs> no matter how much you interfere, there is only one truth! On my grandfather's name? Huh? You have a grandpa? On my grandfather's grave? Hey! Grave? Your grandpa's dead? What happened to him? On my grandfather's plane? Emergency! What happened to your grandpa? Did his plane crash? This is kind of depressing. Hmm. I don't even know where to begin at this rate. You ain't my comedy partner anymore. Ah! It hurts so much when you hit me with a charging corkscrew attack! <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you see that? The stunning display of power! Defy your big brother and I'll show you no mercy! I will harden my heart and teach you a lesson so you don't forget! <laughs> Only I had that magic stick, I'd be able to fight back and it's going Fine, fine! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just leave the whining rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation. Now then, in the spirit of the lovey dovey, dovey, doubt, and dope, what, what the f? Now then, in the spirit of lovey doubt and dovey deception, put your heart and soul into investigating. Yahoo! I wish you the best of luck! And with that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief stricken alone with our despair. What, what is, is this? Mean? I don't understand this at all. Oh. The search for Byaki's killer. Why did it turn out like this? What's going on? Give me a break. Why do I have to get involved in this horrible situation? Um... You can't doubt each other, because you're all friends. Understand? And Mr. Ham-Hams really did get killed, right? 
And if we don't find out who the killer is, we're all gonna get killed, right? Please wait! That being said, I cannot abide by this. Now that they finally made friends, there's no way I can doubt them. So! So, you see? Do you even listen to what I said? It doesn't matter if you can abide by this or not. We gotta do this to survive, right? Then we have no choice but to do it. I won't forgive you! Friends, no! Friends doubting friends is a major no-no! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Just go away already, you useless piece of trash! Oh, uh, That's too scary! Do we really have to do it? But... No, I don't want to do something like that. No! I don't want to do it either, it, it sounds scary! However... It is just as Hyoko said. If we're going to get killed for not doing it, if we're going to get killed for not doing it, then we must do it. But still, I can't believe one of us killed Bianchia. There's no way I can believe it. There's no way. So, for that reason... Yep. I'll do it. I'll investigate Bianchia's death. I'll do my best to prove there is no killer among us. There's no need to deceive or doubt each other. What we need to fight is not ourselves. There's no mistake. But that which is trying to crush us. This despair. This hopeless reality. That's the real enemy we need to fight. If I'm going to survive this, then I have to fight it. Um... Uh, before you start, can I say something? Well? In closed circle detective games, the player usually has to decide who's going to guard the crime scene. What should I- what should we do? I know! Oh yeah, it'd be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. <laughs> destroyed the evidence? Pointing! Look over there, that big bulky brawny guy is perfect for the guard job. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not. Oh, what the heck? What happened? Man. The guy has a sensitive heart despite his looks. Is that what that means? Hey! Um... I can be the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough confidence to investigate the body, and it's not like I have the brains either. I'll just stay back. I'll just stay behind Bianchi's side. It's the least that I can do. That's what guard duty is, right? I'll do my best. I'll do my very best to, to not get in your way. Yes. I have medical training, so if it's not too much trouble, I can perform the autopsy. Please. Um... So you're gonna stay as well? Is that okay? <laughs> and what specifically should we be doing right now? Because I have no idea. Hmm. It's pretty obvious we're all just amateurs. Going through each grain of sand on a beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police. There's no way amateurs like us would be able to do that. Hey! So let's first rely on our intuition. We'll start from there and prove that none of us could have killed Piakia. <laughs> but you perform an autopsy on your friend. How cruel. <laughs> but I have no choice, right? There's no way I could do something like decline, right? I won't believe. I won't believe. Piakia got killed. I don't believe it at all. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm in. You are right. If we have to survive, this is our only path. This is the worst. Something like this is the only thing we can do in order to stay alive. Finding out who the killer is, that's our only hope for survival. Something like this is hope? Even so, I still gotta do it. Ta-da! You thought it was time for the investigation, but... It's the Monokuma File! Hey! Hey! This is what I thought you amateurs need this time. What the hell is this? A Monokuma file? I don't like this! Geez, explaining the rules all the time really breaks my bones. Why well, you? Well, like I have bones in the first place. Like, don't even make me say such lame jokes. Allow me to explain! Let's see. The Monokuma file contains precise and detailed information regarding the dead body. What? I've brought it to you so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. I'm so nice, I want to be known as the Mother Teresa of the mascot. Hey, hey! Nice, you say? You're just selfish me. What's this? My, my, Monami. The meaningless mascot, you're still here. You stupid brother! Don't be, don't put me in the meaningless mascot job. Damn it! Come on, let's go. Your turn is already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here with the door. <laughs> don't put my ears, you're gonna come on. <laughs>
They're finally gone. The Monokuma file, huh? Anyway, I guess I should look it over just in case. God, he was six feet tall. The victim's body was discovered in the middle of the dining hall in the old building near the hotel. Here. Wow. I... The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the Hotel Mirai. The estimated time of death is 11.30 p.m. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and the abdominal region, resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries and no chemicals such as poison were detected. So Miyakia really is dead. Damn it. I promised there wouldn't be one victim. Why did end up being one? <laughs> Why'd you end up being the first one? And now, I'll never know what you were gonna say to me. Oh yeah, that's true, he was gonna tell us something. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others, and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. In the end, what did he even mean? Could it be? Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gush darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys, it can't be helped if someone like that gets killed, right? A traitor? No way. Just because he said a lot of serious things, it doesn't mean he was a traitor. What am I thinking? Okay, he could have been the traitor and somebody kind of just guessed because, I mean, Granted, they wouldn't know he was in the last game, but like, uh, they could have just been like, oh, he, he kill him, <laughs> you know? I, I don't know. He just seemed to know more than he should have, and probably it's, or maybe the other way around? I don't know. Monokuma file has been added to the truth world section of your handbook. Anyway, we need to carefully examine everything. That's right. I need to do it. If we're going to survive this, if we're going to survive this, we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the first. All right, let's go defile Biakia. Under this very, <laughs> under this very table, Biakia is. First, I should investigate the top of the table. And the only thing on top of this table really catches my eye is this desk lamp. It's like an antique lamp, but it seems rather heavy. The power cord was connected to the outlet, so it wouldn't be, would have, so it would have been useless during the fire. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that really stands out to me, so... There's no time for me to flip. I gotta do it! I let out a shout as if to encourage myself and quickly look beneath the table. Immediately, I noticed an unexplainable smell like rusted iron hanging in the air. And during the, sting and during the stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shifted my gaze toward Byakuya's body. Byakuya Togami, the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things, but he tried his best to lead everyone. Why? Why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I can do right now, for Biagi's sake, is to uncover the truth behind his death. What's up with this tape? Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm dumb. Mm hmm? Something stuck to the back of the tape. Is this duct tape? There seems to be paint applied to the non-sticky side of the duct tape. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. This be glowing. Yeah, I'm really dumb. I, as soon as I was like, what's up with this tape? I saw that the knife had green, the same green on it. <laughs> a bloody knife. Is this the weapon that killed Yakia? Hold on. How did the killer bring this knife into the dining hall in the first place? Yakia thoroughly patted down everyone and thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. And all of the confiscated dangerous items were supposed to be placed in that Duralumin case. It's possible that they sold this knife from the case or they hid it somewhere hard to find. Also, there's one more thing about this knife that's strange. Some kind of paint has been applied to the hill. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dull. Can this be glowing paint? Knife has been added to the truthful section of your hand. Okay, these are the goggles. To be able to... Okay, so these are some goggles. Like, to see... Looks like binoculars. Is there a pair of binoculars over the table? Hey, Hajime, those aren't binoculars. Huh? Then what are they? Perhaps. Those are probably night vision goggles. 
knife bending rifles? I have seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also stock self-defense kits, too. Okay, okay. If that's the case. The killer used the night vision goggles to kill Byaku during the blackout. No, 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 no. I don't think they used them. The killer definitely didn't use this. I feel like those were in the other case, yeah? And Byakuya had them. But, like, how would they come up? Actually, I don't, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I, I don't know. The body, the body is collapsed face down under the table, as if he was in the middle of attempting something. Looks like he was. According to the Monokuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed. One of us really do something so horrible? I'm like thinking about a lot of stuff right now, and, and, and things aren't really adding up. I, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Uh, it's still night vision. Can we get closer to him or anything? Is that it? Is it tape? Ah, what? The blood flowing from Byakuya's body formed a huge pool under the table. It's a lot of blood. There's blood splattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. Blood. Might have splattered all over the place when he got stabbed, but there don't seem to be any drag marks leading from the blood pool. Okay, so he was under the table then. Like, he was just under it for whatever reason. Maybe he... Pretty much investigated what's under the table. Despite the fact that it's just me, I think I'm working pretty hard. Even if it's just, even if it's just a little, I'm sure we're getting close to the truth behind Yaku's death. I feel like what happened was... Like, the killer just got to him first. He, or he like found the table with the knife and the goggles hid under there, and then he just so happened to find that knife or whatever, and then they killed him. I'm feeling that might be... It might be... The, that's the theory that I'm sticking with for now. Ah, uh, this is the metal case Byakuya had with it. I believe he said it had... It was made of gold aluminum. Last time I saw it, it was closed, but... There are a lot of odd things inside this case, like a nightstick, pepper spray... Huh? What's this? Hard plastic case, but it's just... But it's just the case inside this is empty. I wonder what was inside. But the one thing that really catches my attention is the small key. It must be the key to the other Duralumen case. The other case was in the office, and all of the collected dangerous items were inside of it. If the key to that Duralumen case is right here, then it's unlikely that the murder weapon was used to kill Byakuya was taken from that case. Which means, the weapons inside of the Duralumen case aren't related to Byakuya's murder. Even so, I still don't know. Why did Byakuya have this dirt looming case in the first place? A case packed with all the security equipment? Maybe he was being extra cautious, just in case. No, that can't be right. That's way too overboard. Could he have known something was going to happen beforehand? And because of that, he went to all this trouble to be extra careful? No, I just think he was overly cautious anyway. Like, I, I think that was just the nature. Yeah, okay, that really solidifies it. He put the goggles on to hide somewhere, and then he just got stabbed. No, but he was... I don't know. I don't know. Um... I guess we have to talk to everybody, yeah. I must investigate my classmates. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the only one who has medical knowledge. <laughs> That's why I need to do it somehow. Before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? Aww. You uh, need to calm down first. I, I, I'm careless enough as it is. That's pretty obvious from how you fell earlier. Uh, <laughs> I'm terribly sorry about that. You showed something so unsightly. Ah! You made me remember again. Uh, uh, yeah. I made such a fool of myself in front of that one. Forget making a fool. Forget making a fool of yourself. How in the world did you end up like uh, that? Well, I got startled by the blackout, slipped on the carpet, and once I was struggling to get back out. Uh, it's so embarrassing. Uh, please, please erase it from your memory. Even if you ask me, I won't be able to forget it so easily. Sorry. Uh, I can't stand it. I'm 
embarrassing pose. Hey, Hajime, there's something I want to run by you. Before the blackout occurred, Byakuya was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's right. And if Byakuya's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during the blackout? Well, now that you mention it... But... But why was Byakuya's body under the table? Even if the killer tried to hide him, it's not like he would have stayed in forever. Isn't it confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems finding out what exactly happened during the blackout is key to solving the mystery. There's no way I'd know. It was so dark during the blackout, I couldn't see anything. That's not it. Although, if seeing was impossible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. Heard something? Are you talking about her? I... Who? <laughs> Definitely not Mahiru, she, she's only good for cameras. Mahiru, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Is, this what, is that what you expected me to say? Because I feel terrible. One minute Byakuya is alive, and well... And in an in instant, something awful suddenly happens. Of course I'm not fine. Why? And not only that, but whoever killed him is one of us, right? That hasn't been determined. It's already been determined. You've already accepted it, haven't you? This is the worst. That we have to find out who the killer is. Find out which friend killed our friend. I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. If I had only acted calmer during the blackout, Bianca might still be alive. This is the worst. This whole thing would have never happened. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will come of it. Jeez. Oh my god! Getting cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. Got it! Hey, Hajime, forget about what I just said, got it? Uh, yeah, that's fine, I got it. Hmm. Anyway, I won't go on it for now. I can't think of a burden to have Plus, there might, plus there might be a clue that only I have access to. A clue? Hey! Photos. The ones I took just before the blackout, remember? <laughs> hey, Byakuya, everyone, come on, I'm gonna take a picture. Alright, say cheese! Oh, yeah, the pictures. Hmm. Wanna see them? I have digital cameras so I can show them to you right now. Really? Please! Um... Hmm... This one... I took these two photos right before the blackout, huh? but... Something wrong? Hmm... I didn't realize it until now, but right before the blackout, Byaku was... standing in a totally different place than where we found him. Was it, wasn't his body under the table with the lamp on top of it? The one underneath the monitor? Prior to that, Byakuya was standing along the far wall farthest away from the table. You're right. That's pretty far. There's something... Everyone's standing... Everyone's standing position before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everyone's body position... Standing position from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It'd be hard to understand from the photo so it might be better for me to plot it out. Hmm. But would that actually prove quite a clue? I don't know yet, but I feel like it could. Leave it to me! Got it. Then leave it to me. That's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Thanks. Alright, now that that's decided... You better do your best! You better work hard in the investigation, too. How much longer are you planning to stand around? Do you understand? Do you understand what's going on? We gotta find out how Byakuya died. Yeah, yeah, I know, but... Good, she's all fired up now, but she's a totally different person now than when she was feeling down. God! <laughs> Why is she yelling at me? She didn't do anything. Yeah. Oh, hellhound earring, answer my call! Impossible! Is this ever futile as well? Hey, are you still looking for the earring you dropped? You! It is not a mere earring. It is a hellhound earring. Fine. Long ago, in a faraway land, a beast known as the Hellhound was feared by all, even by he who summoned it. Well, this is certainly random. The Hellhound tore its way through innumerable battlefields, its fangs glistening with blood, and his drenched blood red fur. <laughs> and his drenched blood red fur would dry in the howling winds of 
When I finally tamed that diabolical beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. Shiver! The hell howled earring. So that I may never forget the night I battled that fearsome Pomerade. <laughs> I swear that earring at all times. Really about a friggin' Pomeranian? I understand it's important to you, but for now, we need to investigate. I won't let you! Where is it? Where did I... Where did it disappear to? Maybe it fell underneath the floor. The carpet didn't cover the floor. The whole floor. It might have just fallen through the gaps between the exposed floorboards. <laughs> so that's what transpired. Such a clever little bubble. Gundam laughed uproar. That word, as he walked toward the wall and pressed his head against the gaps, <laughs> the gaps in the floor. Boom! Ah! I have found an entrance and peered beneath the floorboards. I can see it. There it is. I have found it. Truly, the hellhound. That is the hellhound earring. <laughs> it seems God exists for my benefit. I see. Good for you. Let me ask. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach either. Then maybe you should just give up. What? Give up what? The world? I meant... I meant give up on the earring. You! Fool! Have you not realized yet? The world will come to an end if that human race were to lose that earring. You humans are so satisfied with clothing yourselves in layers of false knowledge. If you flinch, you will die! But even with all those layers, you still will not survive the winter. Why am I being scolded? Fine. It was foolish of me to rely on you fools. Fine, I shall do something about it on my own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go save the world. He wants that earring back by any means necessary. His determination is truly inspiring. I pictured him having his head slammed against the wall, his face just pressed against it while he's like peering in one eye open. Like, oh my god, it's great. <laughs> but it'd be nice if he actually helped me with the investigation. Alright, this is where we're going to stop the episode. Maybe we'll have some more theories next time. I don't know. But we're going to continue the investigation and maybe we'll figure something else out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye!